Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It and the First Honey Harvest of 2022. Ooh, it is time to harvest. Wow, look at that. This video is going to be my top tips on harvesting honey out of flow frames. Tip one is, if you know you're going to be using a flow frame setup, start off by sitting your main box slightly off level. Now you want it plumb from the side to side, but you want it to be a smidge higher at the front or at the entrance than at the rear. And this is straight up about harvesting the honey out of the flow frames. You need that little bit of a, a slope for that honey to flow out. Tip number two, before you do your first flow frame harvest, practice it. Make sure you have all of your equipment including some kind of a table to set up at the back of the flow frames. Trust me, you'll see why in just a minute. Now, I am just doing a quick hive inspection here. I didn't film it. Um, as you can see, it has the reduced entrance. Their bees are strong, I'm queen right. The feeder shim does not have food in it. It's just there to kind of have this hive at about the same height as my flow hive. So with that being said, we're gonna move on to the honey harvest. Now, if you will notice here, I am using a bucket to set my jar on. <laughs> Again, make sure that you have all of your equipment there and just do a little practice run. Tip. Three, once you start your flow frame flowing, you cannot shut it off. So have a container that is the right size to hold all the honey of that frame. In my case, I used a half a gallon container, but I had another half gallon container sitting off to the side. Tip four. When you put these two right, so metal rods in, part way. don't try to do and all the frames at one time. And then part way. About a third like of the way, a third of the way, a third of the way. It It's easier to break that proper list free and open up that flow frame to let the honey flow out. Tip five. I took the tube that allows the honey to flow out and I cut a 45 on two of them, super glued it together, and then I bought that gray top at Amazon.com. It fits a mason jar and that opening is perfect for this tube. So if there were a bunch of bees or yellow jackets, whatever, flying around, they're not going to get into your honey. Tip number six, when you're looking at your flow frames, make sure that there are no bees working to fill them up. You can see how some of them off to the side have the darker yellow and then the open frames where it's kind of like a waxy look. The reason for this is if they are not sealed, honey seems to flow back out with the breaking in the, the gravity or whatever but your girls down below will get covered in honey. So just kind of be prepared for that. Tip number seven. I'm struggling here a little bit, but as you can see, you're better off harvesting every other frame on your flow frame. That way you'll have enough room, at least in my case, for two half gallon mason jars to fit side by side. That way you can harvest at the same time and it will cut down on the harvest time. Okay, now 
for the elephant in the room for all the naysayers on the flow frames and this is a Chinese version of the name brand flow hive just know that I choose how I did it <laughs> was not necessarily how you would harvest your honey I don't want a spinner I don't want a filtration system I don't want to have to heat the honey to get it to flow I'd rather have my platform set with the entrance three degrees higher than the rear I would rather just set my flow frames on there and when I see that the frames are sealed to be able to go out there put a couple metal keys in open it up and have it pour right out into my jar and the beauty of it is when I walk away from this hive the girls can go right back to propol propolizing all the cracks in the flow frames and then filling it back up with honey or should I say filling it back up with nectar honey is not honey until it is completely dehydrated to the bees liking and then sealed or capped with honey or capped with wax so once the wax cap is on the nectar then it is considered honey <laughs> a little fun fact for you there but again for all the naysayers I mean I get it if you guys like the spinner and the filter and the heat knife and and all that I didn't want all that equipment I like being able to come out here and just open up a flow frame harvest the honey close the flow frame back up let the girls refill it up for me and come back out in another month and a half or two and re-harvest the honey. This is how I <laughs> have chosen to do it. Go in and close the oh goodness. So they can get in there and they can do their job and because it's empty which will line up the honeycombs again. Like that. And then put this back up there. And then we are done. Wait a minute, put this. Alrighty then, I want to thank you all for stopping by. Have an absolutely wonderful and blessed week. I'll see you next time on How I Did It.